fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I wanted to go ahead and do a quick review of the new Renew Lip Oils from Sigma. They sent me a PR package and I've been wearing these every single day since I received them and they have not even launched yet, so I thought I would just go ahead and share with y'all my quick thoughts as well as some lip swatches. I love a good glossy, hydrating, nourishing lip product. So I was really excited to test these out. So this is probably gonna be a very short video, but I'm just gonna give you all the information. So let's jump on in. So there are four different shades in this line and it is described as a lustrous lip repair, nutrient rich, hydrating, high shine finish. And it is launching on June 15th. The, every single shade is gonna be $22. And it says, get the nourishment of a lip balm and the shine of a lip gloss in one perfect product. Enriched with a hobo oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E, these smooth, non-sticky lip oils add a protective layer of high shine color. That's thunder. <laughs> and hydration and hydration to help your lips look soft, supple, and juicy, my goodness. It does say that these are vegan, gluten-free, and lactose-free. So overall, I do really like this product. I feel like it is super comfortable on the lips. I'm wearing the shade All Heart right now, and I just really love that like super intense, glossy look, but it's just very like thick and comfortable, and when it wears off, my lips are not dried out at all. They feel actually pretty hydrated, and I noticed that this lip oil lasts a decent amount of time. I would say maybe like two, three hours at the most before it kind of wears off. I think that's a decent amount of time and it's super easy to reapply. So I would say that I recommend these, but, but I would recommend just picking up one because even though there are four different shades, I feel like they are so similar. They're very sheer, so the tints are very subtle and I just don't feel like anyone would really need all four. I mean, I'll use all four that I have because I have them and because they were sent to me, but if I was gonna go ahead and purchase just one, it would be the shade Tint. So just going through really quickly, the shade Tint is described as a lightweight formula in a neutral nude sheen, and I would agree it just has like a tiny, tiny little bit of a like nude glossiness to it, but overall very sheer. I feel like every single one of these is a very your lips but better kind of shade. So if you like just like the tiniest little bit of a tint of nude, really, really like that one. Next we have the shade Tranquil and this is described as a lightweight formula in a fresh pink sheen. This has just like a tiny little bit of a cool toned pink tint to it. Unfortunately, this one did break for me so I had to use it with my fingers and kind of fish out product a little bit. I don't know if that's like a reoccurring problem or if I just am super unlucky, but I wanted to go ahead and mention that really quickly because there is a little bit of a defect happening there. And I don't know if it's just because the wand is so big, like it's such a giant applicator that trying to like pull it through, it just broke off. But this one's really nice if you just want the tiniest little tint of pink. Next we have the shade All Heart, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. And this is described as a lightweight formula in a berry mauve sheen. So without even reading that, I would have just described it as a mauve. I feel like it just has like a little bit of that like really beautiful muted pinky purple tint to it. But again, I mean, you'll see during this lip swatches, these are all pretty similar. It's just the most subtle tint. And then lastly, we have the shade Hush, and this is described as a lightweight formula in a clear sheen. And I was kind of curious about this, of whether it would truly be clear, because I have some clear lip glosses where the applicator turns pink like this. You can kind of see there. It turns pink because it's a clear to pink lip gloss. So I thought that's what this was gonna be as well, but it does stay truly clear on the lips. It doesn't turn pink. So it's kind of weird that the applicator changed color, but I do really like this. If you love a clear gloss, a clear lip oil, you don't want any tint at all, then I think that this is nice as well. I see using this a ton for just throwing on my lips for hydration, not even having anything to do with doing makeup. So that's pretty much all I had to say. I know it's not like a super exciting new product, but if you like a hydrating lip oil, I think that they're good. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.